I am Gina with the Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport, Maine. Let's talk about this painting. In the center of this painting is the ship Mary L. Cushing. She was built in 1883 for local owners in Newburyport, Massachusetts. She may have been the last full rig ship built in Massachusetts. By 1895, she was registered to Pendleton, Carver, and Nichols of Searsport. Captain Frank Irving of Searsport was one of her captains. His brother, James Nelson Pendleton, sailed her from 1893 until he retired from the sea in 1900. It must have been around 1900 when Joanna Kulkard took this photo of a dog sitting on top of the booby hatch on board the Mary L. Cushing. At that time, Joanna was sailing with her father, Captain Lincoln A. Kulkard, on board the ship State of Maine. The Kulkards would have known the Pendleton since they came from the same small town. It was common for Searsport families to run into people they knew in both U.S. ports and other ports around the world. After months at sea, captains and their families enjoyed their time in port and often visited with other people who happened to be there as well. This image is from the Library of Congress Prints and Photographs Division, Detroit Publishing Company Collection. It's exciting to see a photograph of the Mary L. Cushing in the ocean with wind in her sails. Just like the painting, we can see the crew at work on the deck. We can also see at least one crew member working aloft. This oil on canvas is unsigned. It is attributed to William Gay York, a marine artist who was painting out of New York City in the 1870s and 1880s. That makes sense considering the one identifying landmark in this painting is the Sandy Hook Lightship, which was located near the entrance to New York Bay. Look for the next video when we will talk about the lightship.